It's a great honour to be asked to join the panel of judges for the Business Culture Awards. But this doesn't come without his fair share of work, which is entirely appropriate for something as important as this. It's clear from viewing the entries that a great deal of thought and passion has been spent on preparing each submission, and it's right that the evaluation properly respects that and leads to the right entries ultimately winning the awards. In return, this whole process gets to shine a light on great quality and innovation in the practice of building and nurturing an exceptional business culture. And this in turn creates a platform for inspiring others to follow in what becomes a great ripple effect, elevating the application and impact of all of this new thinking and new leading practices that go way beyond the initial implementations. One of the privileges of being a judge, of course, is that we get to look at all of the submissions firsthand. It's humbling and it's a great learning experience for us. When it comes to evaluating the submissions, each judge is provided with a well-structured criteria for assessment. My own approach is to properly study each submission in turn and to look at all the supporting content that comes with it. Then I write down all the things that really stand out and align to the judging criteria. And at the end of each review, I immediately allocate my scores and I have a space to write something personal about what I saw within the submission. For every submission, what we're really looking for is something that leads to lasting change, something that becomes truly embedded in the culture of an organisation, that in turn makes a positive impact on the lives of others and becomes a foundation for accelerating organisational performance. So thank you to all of you who took the time to complete a submission. I want you to know that each and every application has been diligently reviewed and I want to offer my congratulations to the winners of this year's Business Culture Awards.